Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If I'm talking weird in this video, it's because I have my Invisaligns in. So today we have a very, 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 very fun video today. I have been wanting to try this product for the longest time and for some reason this product is so hard to get in Canada so the product I'm talking about is the it's the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% Peel-In Solution. I just got this product. This is gonna be a first impressions of me using this thing. I don't know how it's gonna be. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? Am I gonna have nice glowing skin or am I gonna break out? Who knows? We shall test it out and see. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, then stay tuned. But before we begin, please don't forget to like this video, comment down below your thoughts Thoughts and opinions on this product if you've tried it if you haven't if you hate it if you love it let me know down below and also subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload my socials will be linked down below my art Instagram and my main Instagram without further ado let's get right into this video okay so my face is already cleansed and toned and it is dry it says on the um, directions that your face needs to be clean and dry to use this product let me read the box quickly for you guys just so you guys know a bit more about the product if you don't know much about it this is supposed to remove all the dead skin cells from your face make your skin texture feel smooth and even out your skin complexion so for directions you're supposed to clean your face and wait for your skin to be dry do not use this on wet skin apply evenly across the face and neck using fingertips avoiding the eye area leave on for no more than 10 minutes rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water do not use on sensitive peeling or com <laughs> English or compromised skin. This is a low velocity solution and is intended to be used as a mask. Do not leave it on for no longer than 10 minutes. They underlined that part and they already repeated that you should not leave this on for 10 minutes. So really guys, do not leave this on for more than 10 minutes, okay? It is not recommended to use more than twice a week because it is a super intense treatment. Sunburn alert, use a sunscreen, wear protective clothing and limit sun exposure while using this product and for weeks afterwards. And yeah, that is pretty much it that says on the container. Let's get right into this. I don't even have a mirror. I'm kind of using my viewfinder right now as a mirror. So this should be interesting. Ah, that's probably a bit too close to my eye. Holy, okay. Don't touch the dropper to your face, guys. Ooh, it's a very like thick yet runny consistency as you can see. It doesn't really have a smell to it. I thought it would have had like a chemically smell, but it actually doesn't. Ooh, my face is tingling a little bit. Okay, yeah, my face is already starting to tingle a bit. I should probably hurry up and spread this all over my face instead of taking my sweet time. I'm just very slow when it comes to doing shit, doing stuff. We can't swear here. Me, 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 me. Trying to really avoid my eye contours because your eye contours are super thin and sensitive. Okay, I don't know if this is enough product on my face or not. They don't really tell you if you should use like a thin layer or a thick layer. They say to put on your neck, but I'm just not gonna do that. I usually don't put treatments on my neck anyways. I usually just cleanse my neck, put my serums on my neck, my creams, and that's it. Treatments, I don't really put on my neck. Did we get a nice good layer on? I think so. Oh my gosh, I look like Carrie. <laughs> this thing is messy, okay? Be very careful. It doesn't feel bad on your face. I thought it would be a super intense feeling because I know this is supposed to be like a really intense 10 minute peel in, exfoliate and mask. I've tried mask before where your face literally felt like it was on fire and that it was burning and it was really just sucking the life out of your skin. But this isn't too bad since it's been about almost 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go rinse this off with lukewarm water and I will be 
right back. Okay, I'm back. I rinsed off the mask, I toned my skin, and I did put a hydrating ampoule on my face because my skin was looking and feeling a bit irritated and dry. I actually can't really see on camera, but when I washed off the mask, it was pretty red right here on my face. And I'm not surprised because especially right here on my face, my skin was already very smooth in texture, so I feel like this intense exfoliating mask was just a bit too much on my face because my face didn't have much texture and dead skin cells for the mask to remove. But overall, my skin still feels and looks great. So, do I think this product is worth the hype? Yes and no. Hey guys, Ed and Rakia here. I just wanted to add on to my thoughts. I do think this mask is great for removing dead skin cells off of your face and really just making your skin texture feel great. However, my problem with this mask is that because it is so popular on the internet, like it's literally all over TikTok, Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, whatever, on all of these skincare pages that aren't really knowledgeable 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 on the product and its ingredients showing it to their audience just making them think that it's a regular regular mask that they can use whenever for any skin concerns is problematic because people whose skin types and skin concerns don't really fit the mask are still using it because they see it all over the internet and they think hey let me just get it and because this product is so affordable more people are going to want to purchase this product because it is so cheap but this product does have high percentage of aha and bha so it's a super strong mask and you should not be using it whenever you should use it when your skin needs it and when you use it really read the directions do a skin test like do a little uh small patch on your like neck or wrist i forgot where you do the test but really test the product on a little part of your skin first before before you just plop it all over your face because the worst thing is when you try a product you wash it off and boom your skin is just irritated or breaking out all over but overall i think it's a great product and it looks cool so i see the hype in it but yeah it's not for everyone so that's pretty much my thoughts on the ordinary aha plus bha mask i will use it for sure again in the future and maybe i'll do like a one month or two month update on this product just to give my final thoughts on it you have to use a product more than once to really just see the results on your skin so i will for sure do an update video if you guys want to see that that is all for this first impressions i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did Please, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!